Hello. It's happening. And it's weird to be sitting in a Menards parking lot thinking about how crazy, how crazy it is right now that like this is just blowing my mind the last couple days it is Revelation 16, 13 when it says, when John says he saw three unclean spirits like frogs coming out of the mouth of the dragon. When he says that, and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. When we watch those astronauts go from that, come out of that dragon capsule and enter into the ISS, they look like frogs because they're not green, but they float in there just like a frog would. And if we can't see that there's very similar things happening, depending on how you look at it, of course, there's a dragon up in the sky. There's a dragon and people say Satan's not a rocket because the dragon is Satan right in Revelation and there's a war in heaven happening well I can see how that's happening the four winds they are the foundations of the earth they're the are the yeah the, the pillars of the earth they hold up the earth and the firmament of the heaven that's what I learned from Enoch chapter 18 verses 1 through 5 but how is it possible that other people like I just on TikTok I just got a comment something to the effect of your and it was you are like the letters you are your context and something about scripture is fourth grade let's talk I'm like okay I just those kind of comments I just don't really reply to but um because it's nothing this is actually the things I'm pointing out have nothing to do with me it, if I believe something or if I see something a certain way that doesn't have any effect on you but YouTube is a good place for me to put my thoughts out there you can do the same um and a lot of people do i i'm subscribed to many of you your channels and i listen to what you say even if i disagree with it and i actually if you're on the side of truth you're on that side you're on one side the side of truth do you know all the truth? Do I know all the truth? Do we know all the truth? No. No, we don't. But I do believe that we're learning the, tr the truth about things. Even when we find out we're wrong about something, like, like so many things in this world that I thought I understood until my eyes have been opened supernaturally, and I see them differently now. I, I, the world itself... It's not a ball. It's not a globe. It's not going anywhere. It's not moving. It's not rotating. It's not doing any of these things. It's not in a solar system. It's not going around the sun. If you actually pay attention to the real world, it's a flat, stationary place that we live on. I don't know about the ends of it. I don't know how far it goes. I don't care. I know it's not rotating. And I know that the sun is what's in motion, not the earth. The sun, moon, and stars are in motion. And planets. That's what's moving. Not the earth. Unless you live somewhere that is special. But um, I know you don't. <laughs> so I think it's funny that the whole flat earth thing gets, you know, ridiculed and called stupid. And the people, you know, when it first, like I had people tell me when I, when I would talk about it years ago I would tell they would tell me 
that I need to see, I need to get some help. Like I need to get some, uh, you know, go to a, I don't know what, a, a shrink or something, you know, because there was something mentally wrong with me. People don't say that anymore. And at all, <laughs> not to me anyway, but when it does come up, they often get triggered. They get triggered and that's fine. Um, I do mention often there's many people that come to my channel that do believe in the globe and that's fine. We're not enemies. Like the people that come to my channel, I've got, I mean, of course I get opposing comments, but that's what I expect. I mean, that I don't expect it to be any different than that. We're all going to have an, a different opinion or a different belief. And that's really what it is. It's a, it's a belief. So whether you like to think that science has proved it or something like that, it's still a belief because the world you live in isn't moving. It isn't rotating. There's no sign of it ever being in motion. So that's why the, the flat earth topic looks so stupid before. But when you start to zero in on obvious things that are false, like, let me just ask you a question as, as a, a person watching this video and I'm a person making this video. So I'm talking to you and I hope you're, you can engage with me. Obviously not in real time. Do you have any reason, any reason at all, yourself. I'm not talking about the books you've read or the, like I take the scripture out of it, take everything out of it, take everything out of it. You're a person, you're breathing. I'm a person, I'm breathing. I'm conscious, I'm in a place. I'm, I'm, I'm somewhere, I'm in my van and I'm sitting in a parking lot. You are, fill in the blank, wherever you are doing the same thing. You are a person breathing, you're conscious, you're perceiving the world, the thing you're in, the place you're on, where your feet are standing or sitting, that, that is where you are. And it's in the same place as I am. It's the earth. And you don't know any different. And I don't know any different because everything we've ever experienced has been right here. Even if you were to send a probe out to the sky and think that it's going somewhere. So let me ask you, what is true in the world you live in, the one that you're in right now, and I want you to pay attention to your surroundings, you know, or at least think about the world that you live in when you go out to a park or when you, anywhere, anywhere you go in this world, does it rotate? And if you say yes, of course it does. I would argue that you're indoctrinated by your education that we all received. And there, once you get past that, like, and I think it, it just takes a person being willing to open their eyes to something in a way they haven't before. What is true? That's what I'm asking. What is true? Is it true that this ground beneath my feet that I drive on, is it rotating? Is that true? Or is it a lie? Or is it a belief, faith-based? You have, you have an idea and you say, I think that's true. Or are you going to just pay attention to the actual world and notice that when you park in a parking spot and you leave and you come back 10 hours later and the car's sitting right there, it didn't move, right? Or did it actually, if you go 24 hours later, did it actually move 24,000 miles. Do you think it actually moved 24,000 miles in those 24 hours? Because it didn't. It just, you park a car, you just leave it there. It stays in one spot. And throughout the night, the stars will rotate over it. That's the reality. So is it true that the stars are doing a circle in the sky? Yes. Is it true that the ground is not? The ground is stationary, right? Yes, that's true. Are you believing a lie? You don't have to be like, the, you can have your ideas, but when it comes down to it, what is true? Do you, like I, I'm trying to think of how to describe it. Do you have 
perception? Do you perceive things? Am I wearing sunglasses on my hat right now? Is there a zipper on my jacket? Is the ground rotating? Simple questions, guys. You could, if, if you said there wasn't a zipper on my jacket, you'd be lying. If you said I wasn't wearing sunglasses on top of my hat, you'd be lying. It would be something that's untrue. But when I say that there's a white truck next to me, parked in the parking lot, would you ever say that that truck's rotating? Would you ever say that there's not a white truck parked there? If there was, there's true and untrue. And there's usually not any kind of place in between where you can say, well, and that when you do say, well, well, if the earth was rotating, we wouldn't feel it. You need acceleration. That's an if. That's, a, that's an idea that, that people have. But what's real? And I'm recording this in portrait mode because I want to put it on TikTok, but now I think it's too long. All right, guys. Seek the truth. Even if you live on a globe and think that flat earth is dumb, think about it. It's not dumb. It's the world you live in. Now, if you go up to space, that's a, a whole deception happening up there. Outer darkness. It's a trap. You know, in the book of Enoch, it said that, I don't remember exactly how it said it, but I think it's in chapter 56, the very last verse. And it says that they will, the sinners will sink down into Sheol. And it says that the righteous will be witnesses of this. They will see this happen. Want to go into low earth orbit? Same thing. Same thing. All right. Have a great day. And consider the truth. Even if you don't like it, at least try to understand that there is a lie that everyone in this world believed. And many still believe. Once you overcome that lie, your life will change. Everything about your life changes because you understand that this world is something far different than you thought it was your whole life. So seek out the truth. It, it, it matters and it will change everything about you and in a pos very positive way. So positive that the, any kind of ridicule or anything like that just disappears. It doesn't even... It doesn't matter. So have a great day. Thank you for listening.